Which eclipse is the biggest and tallest of them all? Eclipse Regnans. Can you imagine a forest of trees soaring 100 meters into the sky? Well, imagine no more because that forest exists right here in Australia. The cool wet forests of Victoria and Tasmania are home to these gigantic trees, some of which are more than 500 years old. That's even older than your mum. Commonly known by the rather unglamorous name of swamp gum in Tasmania and mountain ash in Victoria, it's the tree's scientific name that sheds light on its standing in the world of the eucalypt. Regnans in Latin means ruling or governing. So I like to think of these trees as the kings of the eucalypt. There are none greater! As I mentioned, Eucalyptus regnans is both the tallest and biggest tree, not just in Australia, but the Southern Hemisphere. But what's the difference between biggest and tallest? Well, tallest is specifically referring to the tree's height, measured, obviously, in meters while biggest is referring to the tree's wood volume, measured in cubic meters. The tallest tree, named Centurion, is 100.5 meters tall. The biggest? Well, that's a bit harder to pin down, but let's just say somewhere between 350 and 360 cubic meters. To put those numbers into perspective, this is what 100 meters looks like and 360 cubic meters. Well, that's about the same volume as 377, 300 cargo planes. So it's important to remember that the tallest tree might not be the biggest and the biggest tree might not be the tallest. That is, that's right, yeah? The unmatched scale of Eucalyptus regnans, along with its incredibly fast growth rates, make it the ultimate carbon vacuum. Each of these living superstructures has hundreds of thousands of leaves, which day after day are converting vast amounts of water, sunlight, and carbon dioxide into wood. Scientists have proven that forests of tall eucalyptus regnans with a wet, temperate rainforest understory are among the most carbon dense forests in the world. Thanks to high rainfall, cool temperatures, and slow rates of decomposition, each hectare of Eucalyptus Regnans Forest can hold up to 2,800 tonnes of carbon. Day after day, year after year, and century after century, these trees filter tonnes of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. The process, photosynthesis, mm -hmm. photosynthesis, mm -hmm. the process, photosynthesis, is something all plants do. But Eucalyptus regnans takes it to a whole new level. It's reasonable to think that the reason why Eucalyptus regnans grows so tall is because it never loses that competitive spirit. It never stops reaching for the sky. But at some point, they do become old and are unable to support such vast amounts of wood and leaves so far from the ground. As the trees age, they naturally start to die from the top down. That is why old growth stands of Eucalyptus regnans, typically between 250 and 400 years old, feature stags of deadwood at the top of the tree. 
also those gigantic branches that have held all those leaves begin to fall off. But it's at this stage of its life that Eucalyptus regnans is the most valuable. Not for money, but for habitat. Each old growth tree can have dozens of hollows. Hollows that our most endangered birds and other animals can use as homes. Hollows with openings of just four centimeters are perfect nesting sites for the endangered swift parrot. Larger hollows are suited to larger birds. Birds like the mighty masked owl and the playful yellow-tailed black cockatoo are perfect in these big hollows. As you can see, the value of these trees is immense. Each tree can capture hundreds of tons of carbon and is critical habitat for our most spectacular birds. Eucalyptus regnans is the rightful king of the eucalypts. There are none taller and there are none bigger. And that is why they are true icons of our nation's natural heritage. I'm Steve from The Tree Projects, and you keep on you can. Photosynthesis. Hey, it's 2020. And uh, we at The Tree Projects here are going to be releasing a range of eucalypt media all throughout the year. What I would like you to do is to have a think about what your favourite eucalypt is and enter it into the Eucalypt Australia Eucalypt of the Year 2020. Alrighty, here's one and two, two links to other videos that we've made. Uh, well, hope you enjoy it.